Hello, Professor Sherrod. This is Ryan Roach. I'm here to give my I am statement. And for this assignment, I am choosing the Good Shepherd out of John chapter 10, verse 11. I'm going to read a few verses here and then get into why I chose this verse. Starting in verse 10, the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life, have it abundantly. I am the good shepherd. The shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. So a couple observations here is that Jesus is giving a contrast here. He has the devil and then he has himself. And the devil is, has only come to lead astray God's people. But, but not Jesus. And furthermore, Jesus continues to talk about the diff difference between the hired hand to lead the sheep and the shepherd and what he does. The hired hand, although, um, although he's leading the sheep, he doesn't have a fully vested interest in them. He kind of sees the sheep as a means to an end to make some money. But when trouble comes and when pressure comes, like the wolves coming to devour the sheep, um, he's not willing to die for them. He's going to run away and spare his own life. And that's kind of like the false teachers or the devil. Um, they are not really interested in us. They, they're, they're kind of using us as a means to an end for their own agenda. Obviously, the devil does not want us to follow Jesus, so um, he is willing to lead us astray, but he's not willing to do anything for us. Unlike Jesus, Jesus is going to lay down, literally lay down his life for us and give us eternal life. Uh, he talks about this in verses 17 and 18 and John chapter 10, how he lays it down on his own authority. And which is, which is probably one of the most compelling parts of why I chose this. Um, I, I obviously, Jesus is a good, our good shepherd. That's awesome. But going even deeper later in a couple of verses, he lays down his life on his own authority. And he does that because he wants to, you know, he's not coerced into do it. He's not, he's not begrudging it. Uh, he does it because he wants to. And he, and furthermore, he leaves heaven to come to live down here on earth. Heaven being a place without sin, it's perfect. His perfect will is done there. Um, it's just majestic in heaven. Whereas earth, it's not majestic. Um, there's, there's filled with sinners like me who don't honor him. Furthermore, uh, we're sinners. I, I sin. I contribute to the evil evils of this world. Uh, but yet Jesus was willing to still die for me in order that I may have eternal life. And what's furthermore in this is that Jesus is patient with those who will become his sheep. Um, he says something that, you know, they're not part of my fold yet, but they will be. And so thanks be to God that he was patient with me uh, and waiting for me to become a sheep, part of his flock. And I just find that just so compelling that he's willing to leave heaven, come to earth, die for ungrateful people like myself, wait to wait for me to become his uh, his sheep. And not only that, he'll lay down his life for me, he'll protect me, he'll guide me, he'll lead me to everlasting life, and he'll protect me from people like the devil or false teachers who may lead, lead me astray or others astray. And on earth, you're not going to see President Biden uh, come and lay down his life for me, protect me from somebody trying to hurt me, harm me, kill me. On the, on, on the reverse, we have people called the, the Secret Service to protect Biden. So he lives, so he continues to live. And those Secret ser Servicemen are willing to lay down their life for Joe Biden. But Joe Biden wouldn't do that for his Secret Service or me. But yet Jesus is willing to be the good shepherd and do that for me when I don't deserve it. And, and with... Chris Tomlin and his song, You Are My King, he says this, amazing love, how can it be that you, my king, would die for me? It's amazing. And so that's why I chose the Good Shepherd um, as my choice for 742.